Hello G Nation, it's your host and the moments are live and with those being live a lot of you have questions about it so let's dig into them and have a look how they work so first you need to access your roster then you see here you got a tab that says moment now it has a red dot right now because it means I, un I unlock a brand new moment if I go there, it shows this, the NW1, the one that I got a picture on screen right now, is the one I just unlocked. That one requires a special token. That token was uh, acquirable as the last, uh, the last milestone for the current faction event for Umaga. So that's how you got that one. So we're gonna unlock this one. It is a B tier moment, currently at five star rarity. And this is what it does. Now we'll have a deeper look at what they do. So once you're in, right now it tells me that I got eight of the 10 current moments. Now they seem to be releasing those, well, pretty fast so far, because uh, there was two new ones that were released today with the event. Uh, we had eight of those previously. Now I got eight of the current 10. There are two more here. Now this one right here on the bottom right, you can currently buy the required token to unlock it because there's three ways you can unlock a moment. You can either uh, get a special token like that. Uh, you can uh, either buy it if it's even on sale you can either earn it as part as of whatever event, like the one I got for the NWO right there, or some of them you just unlock by having the required characters. Those are probably the easiest one to get because you don't need to get anything special. You just need to have those characters unlocked. So this one here right now, like I said, it's currently on sale on the portal, but it is a hundred bucks. So that's why I don't have it because I didn't want to spend a hundred bucks for that. Although, the one for Andre and uh, Ogan here, that was on sale for 10, 10 bucks. And there's also another offer at 20 bucks with a four star gold acrobat macho man that comes with it. But I just picked the one at 10 bucks because 10 bucks a fair price for that. I wouldn't really go higher than that personally. Now, there's three things you got to look at for a moment. The least important of those is the tier. Now you see here, I got some B tier, some S plus tier. I got an A tier. There's a S tier right there. Now the tier really doesn't mean much. Uh, it is pretty much uh, our, uh, how powerful the moment is. Uh, lesser the, the letter, lesser how powerful it is. Uh, the second thing is the rarity, which is the star number right there. It is based of the rarity of the character you have. For example here, it is currently at five star. If you go to the Evolve tab, it is at five star because uh, minimum three superstars are required to have the following rarity. So for mine to go from five star to six star, I would need to have at least three of those characters at six star. Uh, mine is currently five star because I do have three of the four at five star. So that's why it is five star. If one of those was only four star, it would be a four star moment. And what the star rarity does is it increase the max level you can have. For example, here again, mine is level five. So the max level I can level the moment is up to 25. If it was rarity six star, well then I could get it up to 30. And obviously that would mean that it would be a stronger moment because I can give five more levels to it. If we go to a lower one, what's the lowest I got? Four star. This one here. You need four characters, four of the eight to unlock that moment. Uh, mine is currently at four star because I don't have more than four that are above four star. I currently have two of those that are five star. I would need to make two more five star, like it says here, and then my moment would move up to five star and I could reach level 25 instead of level 20 as my cap right now. Well, that's pretty much really all there is to it. 
the star level is going to be the max level you'll be able to bring them up the level is obviously how strong the moment is going to be and the tier is mostly how, how rare it is or how, how strong it is now also if you want to see what the moment actually does so i'm going to pick this one here because that's the one that everyone got for free so it says on the bottom here this one is for tours only uh, it will affect only tours and it will also affect only those four characters that you're seeing here it's not going to affect your old roster it is really only those four uh, it does tour blast gem do plus one percent more damage tour all colors submission move do plus one percent more damage per turn tour yellow move deal plus one percent more damage and on tour again move that generate all color gem will create plus one more all color gem now obviously not all characters are going to be benefiting from those like some of those don't have yellow move for example or don't make any color gem but those are going to be there's going to be something benefiting all of those characters somewhere in there now if you want to see how it works to level them up well you see here you need two things you need coins and you need those special uh, coins that uh, we'll see later too that are the moment coins and actually we, you need a, a third thing sorry you need some shards you don't need a, a large amount of shard but you still need some shards for example here for level one you're i'm gonna need 70 shards and here for example if i take a c char a c shard it counts for one if i take a b shard it counts for two a shards for three s tier for four and an s plus shard count as five uh, personally i would recommend you go with the lowest shards because they're the one that are also worth the less and if you want to see what improvement you're going to get it tells you here like if i get from level one to level two those are the increment we're going to get i kind of like to go check at the very last level or at least the very last level i can get which has 25 in my case we're actually going to check at level 20 because a lot more of you are going to be capped at 20 than at 25 because 20 required them at four star so at level 20 here i would get 126 percent because it is the right number you get plus what you already have so it would be 126 percent blast gem damage 210% all color submission move damage per turn, 210% yellow move damage, and plus five uh, all color gem. Now again, remember this is for tours only for this moment, but it is different for other moment. If we check this one here, well, this one is faction feud buffs. If we check this one here, this one is in everything because it doesn't say feud or something. So those six characters are getting that buff for everything you do. Uh, right now it is multiply gem strength increased to by plus zero and gems do plus one percent damage. Obviously that's gonna go up. Like if I check at 25, for example, I'm sure those multiplies are not gonna be zero anymore. And you see here right now, if I want to get him to 25, it costs me 1,690 shards to get to 25. And it would make it, well, apparently the multiply is still at zero at 25, but the gems now do 17%. I'm curious, I'm guessing it's probably at 30 that it goes to plus one. I can't really see because I can't get that high. If we check the other moments, what do we have? Thunderdome, this one is all faction feud. So Media 31 set cashes in. That one is showdown. And uh, RVD is pretty good for showdown. Undertaker meets King, that one is for tours as well. Kofi Mania is for faction feuds. AJ Styles for tours. LNSL, we already had a look. All right, so now we're going back to what we already had. 
you can see what you need to unlock those now again keep in mind you got to check those here they require a special token those two others it would be like just characters for example here you need four so you need four of those eight and that's going to unlock that moment that's pretty much all there is to it it's pretty simple now if you check on the top left here uh you have, it says boost if you click that it will list all the characters you got that are getting a boost from one of all your moments right now i got cat 49 characters that are getting one or more boosts from the moments i got active it won't tell you what but it just tells you they got some boosts uh, also here that's your moment coins right now i got twenty three thousand seven hundred and twenty. Uh, we did get i believe twenty thousand that they gave us free uh, at the same time that we got the uh, undertaker and mankind moment and also uh, obviously i'm sure there's going to be some way to purchase them i'm sure if i check the, the store right now there's probably some way to purchase it Yeah, so you can purchase the, some on the store, but we are also getting some for free every day. Uh, if we check the daily stuff. Will it show here? Probably not. Let me check. Where do you see your daily reward? Oh, there it is. Daily rewards. No, that's not the ones. Where the hell do you see the stuff you got? For your, oh, there it is in this the daily insta claim if you check here like i got 1860 moment coin from the insta claim daily so you'll be able to get some of those every day too so and it's still a good amount so i mean i'm sure it's not going to be enough down the road once we get a bunch of moment but be sure to really like i haven't used any of the ones i got so far uh, you, you really want to pick since it, you're we're gonna get a limited amount of resource plus you need to shard, to use shards too I would definitely recommend that you really be careful like use use uh, your resources to level moments of characters you're gonna be using uh, like if, if you check again like in here plus also in in modes that you're gonna need it for example for me uh, boost in faction fuse are probably what I'm gonna be looking at for characters that I use more than boost for tours for tours I rarely ever need them showdown maybe if it goes to characters that I use right now I haven't leveled any of those because I don't really have any moments that boost characters that I regularly use in modes that I normally use like for example if I was to level this one well I do use all of fame undertaker but it is a boost for tours i don't really need him buff for tours he already does at five star gold obviously he already does a lot more than what i need him to do for regular tours uh, if i were to check uh, this one here for dx well sean michael i use a ton uh, and uh triple h well i don't i don't use him now but he is uh a character that i am actively leveling to make six star really but still it is only tours which i don't really need the buff gunless blitz not really either would have been nice if it was showdown or feud so yeah check what moment you have and if the situation and the characters are something you're going to be using if not i say just keep your resources for obviously they're going to be releasing a hell of a lot more than those i mean two days in they already released two more now i don't expect that it's going to keep that pace but i still think that we're going to see some release on a regular basis anyway so stay on the lookout for that so that is it if you have any more questions well leave it in the comment maybe i got those answers too i mean it's fairly new to me too seems pretty straightforward though uh, hopefully i filled in the blanks as far as questions you guys had about it so that is pretty much it again if you have any questions leave it in the comment if you're not already a sub on my channel make sure to do so so you're kept informed when i post new stuff and if you like the video well leave a like and share see you guys g out ciao